hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel and on today's episode we are making a combo soup and this combo soup consists of what ogbono and okra and this is a must try recipe so stay tuned as i'll be taking you through all the cooking processes and showing you the ingredients all right after this intro don't touch to that <music> welcome back so here is my smoked mackerel this mackerel was made at home that means it's homemade very fresh and delicious okay also here is the blended obono blended into powder and also here is my dried onions the seasoning cube and the obey tell me what is obono soup without obey <laughs> so also i have my scotch bonnet peppers here is my spinach freshly and nicely diced and also here is my words dried Oziza leaves, meaning that we are using two leaves for this recipe, and also the salt to taste. And also, I have my black pepper, and also, I had the fresh okra very fresh and i'll be showing you how i'm going to be working on that here is my palm oil and on this pot let me open and show you what i have i have the whole part of cow meat the intestine the kidney in fact the whole part of cow meat is here and also the biscuit bones are not left out that is what you are seeing right here so all this set aside i'll be washing the okra and then i'll be dicing okay keep watching Check out the way I chopped the okra. I divided into four equal parts and I cut gradually. Is this how you love to chop your okra? Let me know that in the comment section. And please, if you have watched up to this time, please can you share me out to your friends and families? And I do really appreciate. Keep watching. Also, in case today is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscription button and also remember to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be among the first to be notified anytime I upload new videos. So, here is the process of cutting and I set that aside. I'll be doing that off camera and I've turned in my palm oil and it's hot and I'm pouring in the word the ogbono, the dried and blended ogbono. Please people, you can also choose to boil your ogbono but the difference is this, you have to melt it with oil so that you can be able to boil it without seeds sitting in it but here i chose to do what to fry and then i achieved what i wanted so either metals works perfectly so it's up to you to choose what you know how to do best okay so this is well stirred and then i'll be setting this aside and then i'll come back to you As you can see, all has done words melted perfectly and I added them my words, the dried onions and the way and I squeezed them words, the seasoning cube all into the pot and then keep watching. So here I also added in the freshly blended scotch bonnet pepper, the red and yellow combination, which gives you that best aroma in your cooking. Right about now, I'll be pouring in the words, the beef stock. This meat has been cooked to the level I wanted it. It is almost soft. And then I added in all the stock water you can rightly see. So here, I'm going to do what cover and allow that to cook. And after that, I'll stir and stir as you have rightly just seen me doing. And I added in the black pepper. One thing about this recipe is I didn't cook it with much spices. I just did the needful. And now you can see I'm pouring in the words the beef that's been already cooked remember people putting your beef when you think the cooking will soon be done because that is when you have cooked it to the level which you think is enough to be chewed okay so also i covered and allowed this to simmer for about five to ten minutes in a low heat people please cook with low heat so that your burner will not do what burn on the bottom of the pot so here I added in two tablespoons of crayfish. This is my own technique of cooking this soup. Adding crayfish at this time and you are going to enjoy every local taste that comes with this. So also I added in the smoked mackerel. You can see me just peeling that off and throwing it into the pot. So keep watching people. So 
So at this point, I've added in all the smoked mackerel and I'm just stirring and I added in the Ozeza leaf. Remember, this was dried so I added hot water to do what? Clean it up and make it soft. And here I added in the what? Finely diced okra as you can rightly see and that has entered into the pot and then I'm going to stir and the next thing I'll be adding into this pot will be my freshly diced spinach. Look at how this soup is already looking, looking calling me calling you and that is what we are all targeting. Check out the consistency of this soup. This is how I love it. If you love yours to be watery or lighter, please add in water, hot water at this point, okay? So here is the spinach nicely shredded and is entering into the pot. That means in a matter of time, this soup is leaving the fire because I want the grain to be green. <laughs> Please cover the pot and allow this to simmer for 2 minutes and that means you have to also lower your heat and then you're gonna taste and see if everything is intact. When it is good, then you give me a thumbs up. So I tasted and it was good. I tasted 2 times and I enjoyed every bit of it. So please, thumbs up this video because it is worth it. Please also don't forget to leave a resounding comment and I will also be turning this soup into a bowl so that it will not cook further to ease off the heat and leave everything fresh as expected. So people also let me know the side dish you'll be eating this week because I am taking my own down with what Quaker Oats Eba. You can see I am dishing out and please I hope somebody out there is ready to eat with me. Thanks all for watching up to this time and it will be a great pleasure to have all your beautiful and gorgeous looking faces in the next episode of Mom as a Kitchen and More. Remember, I love you all but in all, God loves you most. See you all in the next one. Bye-bye.